Hi, it's Will from StoneCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me's Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is how to make, with easy materials, a um, COVID-19 coronavirus model. Uh, you just need some, a few basic things. And uh, I've, um, I just wanted to say one more thing. I, I've, I've disabled uh, revenue on this video. I don't desire to make any money off of this video because of the current situation in the world. It's uh, it just didn't feel right to me. So, but that's okay. Uh, I, I think this model is um, important, and I think in, in a small way it helps to understand what's going on. And with understanding, you know, fear is dissipated, right? So, uh, uh, let's launch into it. How to make with simple materials a coronavirus model. Oh, and I've got all this website, all this information I got here. I derived directly from the um, Center for Disease Control website so I could get you the most accurate information. I will put a link to that website and the appropriate um, pages in the description of this video. Thank you. So this is image comes directly from the Center for Disease Control website. I'll give you the link to that so you can see it. And this is what we're going to copy. And let's take a look at the materials. We're going to use the um, 3.8 inch um, foam ball from Floracraft. Or you can use other sizes too. You could even make a paper mache ball or improvise something if you don't have any kind of these foam balls. I, I bought them at Walmart. And it makes it really easy to make this project. And if you don't have the full ones, you can always use the half ones. Just a half is fine. Another piece of foam is the base. A uh, wooden dowel that's 3 eighths of an inch long and it's about 8 inches long. 3 eighths of an inch thick. Some golf tees. That's what makes this project so easy. The plastic ones like this I like because of the strange shape on the end. Or the wooden ones. And for paint, gray, orange, yellow, and red. So, of course, some paint brushes. And one more look at that dowel. Three-eighths of an inch in diameter and about eight inches long. So, the first thing to do is to assemble it by um, piercing the styrofoam ball with uh, the, the foam ball with uh, your dowel and putting it on your stand. And that way it's easier to work with. Then paint that uh, that sphere uh, gray. And the colors I'm using here are directly from the CDC website. And I've seen contradictory information as far as the colors go. I think that's just artistic, the various colors of the different images. And we'll, we'll stick with those colors to make it easy for you. Now, take um, some of your uh, golf tees, say about um, 16 of them. Take six, I did 16 of them. If your sphere is a different size, you'll probably want to do more. Cut off about an inch of them and then stick them into the sphere like that and do all 16 of them. So they stick out a little bit, maybe about uh, three-eighths of an inch. And those will be our E proteins and our N proteins. And I'll, I'll show you what I mean. And the number of them you use doesn't matter that much, but what is what is important is that um, we're going to do, you know, uh, almost three times as many N proteins as E proteins. I'll show you what I mean. And for all of this stuff, um, if you're finding it's not sticking very well, you can always apply some kind of a glue. If you use hot glue, set it on the low setting if you can, because the hot glue can melt this this uh, foam. Different types of foam don't you know, are easily melted by hot glue. So, you know, some white glue, some uh, Elmer's glue, something like that. That's great. So, paint four of them yellow. And those will be our E proteins. And for me, I did 16 of them, so I will paint the uh, remaining 12 of them orange. I'll show you. And, you know, I couldn't resist using glow-in-the-dark paints. It just was kind of fun. Use any kind of paint at all you got. So there we go. Now the rest of them are all orange. See, it looks good, right? Next, we are going to our, do our S proteins. And these are actually the corona. And that's why, you know, the coronavirus is called what it is, is these S proteins... Um, stick out from the uh, the mass of the virus, forming a crown. 
and in Spanish crown means uh, Corona means crown so isn't that interesting stick them in and um, I did uh, 28 of them in Mayan you know space them out like this and have them so they stick out of the sphere about one inch those were a little long for me but I ended up piercing them a little deeper so I did 28 you know make it look good there you go and that see there we go we already have the the we already have it done so this is an easy project you can do it really quick and understanding will come to you what this is and you could of course use the wooden golf tees if you have those I just like the look of those golf tees and then paint them uh, as proteins red and I used a that's more like a pink for me it's like a pinkish red because I didn't have a pure red for the glow-in-the-dark paint and if you use the, the plastic golf tees they're going to take a little bit a couple of coats of paint to get them pretty um, thick in color but that's that look at that we've built our um, COVID-19 coronavirus nice so now now put a key on there and I'll show you what I mean label it as the COVID-19 and put um, a yellow one marked out as E protein, and S one as uh, a red one as an S protein, and a and an orange one as an N protein. And you have a key. Do some research. Check out the CDC if you're doing this for a school project. Check out the CDC website for more information if you'd like to write about it. That's it. Remember, you can improvise, and, and like I said, I couldn't resist using glow in the dark paints. I've been on a glow in the dark paint kick lately. Um, but uh, ha have fun. Um, check out my website at stormthecastle.com for lots more tutorials and projects and all kinds of stuff. And my look through my playlists and my videos here on YouTube. Thank you.